So the good friends at TE Smart sent me over this KVM switch. I must say that I'm excited to unbox this. So let's get right into it. As we open up the box, we're gonna be presented with a manual. This manual is very detail oriented. It supports HDR, 4K, uh, 444 color space. Uh, it, it's a, this is the uh, two by one HDMI KVM switch. So you can control two computers. Um, and it just goes over all the explanations of what the product does, how it works, uh, how to connect it, what do the LEDs in the front mean, etc. So this is the main device, we'll get to that later. And then underneath this cardboard piece, there's two white boxes. Now, it's nice that they include this in this larger white box. Uh, let me take this out. We're gonna find, we're gonna find two sets of KVM cables, which is HDMI and USB. They're 1.5 meters, <coughs> choosable. And what you have to do is basically use these cables for each computer. So they give you the cables you need already. All you do need to supply though is the one main HDMI cable from your monitor back to this KVM switch, which if you are using a modern monitor, you should already have an HDMI jack. Now in this box, which was surprising, is they actually provided a remote control. This remote control now allows you to control your KVM switch, so you can tuck this in the back and not have it predominantly out on your desk. I kind of like that feature. It does require one AAA battery, which is not included. And that's the power cable to power up the KVM switch. Now, speaking of the KVM switch, here it is. So this KVM switch, the build quality is pretty nice. It has the power rocker switch in the front, LED indicators, and that yellow select switch. Uh, those indicators are actually to tell you which computers you're going in between. Now, I only have the two by one model, so the indicators, they're nice, but I don't know how useful they are. The back has USB ports for both computers, the keyboard and mouse, and the HDMI out. The build quality of this thing is beautiful. It seems solid. The weight feels right. It's just an overall nice product and I really do love it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to take the supplied HDMI USB cables and I'm going to set it up. Now I do have a Mac that I use and I have an ultra wide high resolution, uh, I want to say 4K LG monitor. It's a really high res monitor. This supports the HDR spec, the wide gamut, um, P3, everything that you could possibly imagine. This monitor was not cheap. Um, and I use a 16 inch MacBook Pro. I'm also gonna hook up a PC just to show you that I can go between a PC environment and a Mac environment pretty quickly. So these are the cables. The quality of these cables are really nice. So you just hook them in the back here. There's two jacks, one set for each computer. So one is a USB and one is a HDMI. So the USB and the HDMIs, they will go from one computer to uh, my Mac here, and then the PC that I'm gonna actually hook up, and I'll bring that over in a second. So these cables, you just plug in one set into the back, and then you plug in the other set to the other machine as well. So here we go. We're gonna plug in these cables real quick. I have the PC laptop here as well and it's pretty much plug and play. So if you ever hooked up a printer, keyboard, mice, you should be able to hook up a KVM switch pretty easily. And KVM switches are relatively all the same in terms of like connectivity. So you're always gonna have a set of USB and a set of uh, HDMI cables. The reason for this is because most keyboards you work off of the USB. Yes, some are wireless, but you would still wanna use wireless keyboard and use those dongles and plug those dongle into uh, the USB jack because you need to be able to share that connection. Now, if you have a mini display port like I do on the laptop, you're gonna wanna get yourself this adapter. It's a mini display port to HDMI. So you can plug your HDMI into that and then plug that display port adapter into your display port on your laptop. And then we can power it on. So make sure you hook up your wireless dongle devices, uh, if it's a wireless keyboard and mouse, or if it's a hardwired USB, make sure you plug them in, in the respective ports as well. 
And then after you have those two plugged in, now you can actually set up your multi computers. So here I have a PC, Mac, PC and a MacBook on a large LG 34 inch ultra high def 5K monitor. Now you can use the remote to switch back and forth. I prefer just hitting the yellow button up front. Uh, now just FYI though, you can use the remote and you can also use this yellow button to switch back and forth. As you can see here, I just hit a button and boom, I'm back in the Mac. But also what this device supports is uh, keyboard hotkeys and mouse gesture modes, which is really cool. So in the manual, you can set up hotkeys and you can hit like scroll, scroll lock space, and all these different ways of enabling and disabling different functions within this device. It's really cool. Uh, you can do scroll lock with F2 and F12 keys by turning on and off fast switching modes. Another neat thing that you can actually do with this um, unit is mouse gesture mode. So if you moved your mouse to the left edge and held it within one second, the KVM will switch to the previous input mode. It's, it's a beautiful thing and it makes uh, the user experience just that better. So if you have any questions about the setup or anything like that, uh, the people at TE Smart uh, are very uh, willing to help you with any questions. They make multiple different configurations from two by one in HDMI KVM switches all the way up to four by one HDMI KVM one switches. So if you have any questions or comments about this, feel free to comment below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.